Hey everyone, what is up? It's the Xbox Hobo. Today I'm going to be bringing you another installment to the Guide to Redstone series. Today, actually before I start, I want to talk about the series itself. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing it at three levels. I'm going to be doing easy, medium, and then hard. So I'm going to be doing a hidden chest, then I'll be doing a piston door, and then I'll be doing a trap. So I'll be doing three things on easy, three things on medium, three things on hard. But slowly, slowly, like getting harder. So what I have for you today is a pretty cool hidden chest. Um, obviously, I've got these ones up here as a kind of like distraction. So you think, oh, that's cool. Nothing, nothing really here. Just a well-decorated room. And basically, I saw this one on YouTube before where you had to stand on a pressure plate and then... Uh, unlock it but I thought I'm gonna scrap the whole pressure plate idea and I'm just gonna whack a switch in because it makes it easier to do but also I don't think it really you know compromises the whole kind of secretive of it so let me show you what this does if you come through here open that and boom there's your two chests uh, you could make it three if you wanted to um, like I said this is super easy to make and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it you don't need a lot for this really it's all it all depends on how you decorate it and how how well you actually um kind of hide it all. right so the main fundamental bits is you want to have a staircase that is three wide so i'm just gonna build this it's up to you how high you want it to go hmm right i'm gonna stick with that so the stairs that you want to go down and back are these two. So you want these two to go down. So you need to put a piston there and a piston there. So when you put the stairs in, they are flush against the floor. So when they're extended, they will be here. And it's the same with these. You want this one here and this one here. So for this to come back, the piston needs to be against this one. Just like that. So then when you put the stairs in, it's flush against this wall. So when it's extended, it will be like that. And then the same for the other side. And you can put the switch kind of, get out of here. You can put the switch kind of wherever you want, really. Um, if I just whack a lever on here. And if I put a block here and a block here with repeaters going into them, that will make it more compact and easier to do. Now, we need to dig down to so we can get down to these pistons. Do, do, do. Okay. And then we can do the same on this side. So if we put a repeater there and a repeater there, connect it up with redstone. Send that all the way back up to here. So then when it's extended. Oh no, problem. Okay, just run out of charge. Okay. So if we just whack a repeater in there. Boom. So then if we unextend it and grab some chests. And then they will go here in between in between the stairs. So just like that. Pretty easy, huh? And really cool hidden way. I mean, you can put the lever anywhere. You could put it somewhere in your house. You know, obviously this is a bit bit obvious because a couple of my friends, first thing they did was walk along the walls with their face in it to try and find like a hidden room. So, you know, you could put it anywhere. It's, it's totally up to you guys. And that's about it, actually. I think that is literally the basics. Like I said, it's up to you how you decorate it and how you how you kind of make it um, hidden. Boom. Oh, it's so cool. I love that one. Um, yeah, so I will be doing a hidden chest, a piston door, and a trap on, on each um, kind of difficulty level. But if there's anything that you guys want to see, like anything in particular, like uh, countdown clock or, or something like that, you know, be sure to spam the comment section 
and if I get enough of them then I will do a tutorial on whatever you commented. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. If you like my videos be sure to give them a thumbs up, a subscribe and a comment and a favourite if you like it that much. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. This has been Guy to Redstone and I'll see you next time.